What's up friends? My name is Allison and this is my first official vlog. Um, I'm really excited to just try something new, um, take you guys through just like my day to day, um, but also something for me too for 2023 just to kind of see where I've started and where I'm going to go. So I'm really excited, but just want to do a little like get to know me um, and I think you'll learn more about me and my history, my past and like where I see myself going, which I'm not really sure right now, but hopefully we'll figure that out. Um, I grew up in Chicago, um, born and raised there and lived there till I was 22. And then we moved out, by we I mean my boyfriend and I moved out to Vegas um, in 2019. Um, and the goal out here was to perform. So I used to do circus, um, anything like, you know, hanging, juggling, unicycling, pretty much did all of that. Um, started at the age of 10. So that was kind of where I thought my life was gonna go and where I really wanted to be for a while was on a stage performing, but COVID had other plans for me. So still learning how to navigate all of that. Um, and that's something that I'm hoping 2023 will bring some peace to because I'm still struggling with the fact that I'm not performing anymore and it's been really hard. But we are currently back out in Vegas. Um, after COVID, we, middle of COVID, during COVID, we moved back to Chicago to be closer to family. So kind of just didn't know what was gonna go on with the world. And then moved to Myrtle Beach, spent about eight months there and I did get to perform for a little while with Pirate's Voyage. At the end of my time there, I kind of just was really thinking about what I value in life and where I kind of see myself and what I want to be doing. Um, a lot of that had to do with my family um, and a lot of it had to do with stability. The performing industry can be very unstable and very uncertain. So at the time I had just had so much change and instability that I was like, I just need something settled and something that I know I have a steady income with and that will allow me to kind of do the things that I want to do again. Um, we really want to travel. We want to be home with our families for the holidays. We're both big family people. So being there for those events are huge for us. Um, so really trying to make that happen these next couple of years. Um, I just want to travel and explore. So when we came back to Vegas, I was lucky enough to get to go back to coaching at F45, the studio here. The first time we were here, I just created this incredible family. Um, these people are amazing. The studio is one studio that I can say with the utmost certainty is like nothing I've experienced anywhere else. Um, and I was so fortunate that they welcomed me back to be a coach again and part of the family. So really grateful that I'm doing that. So exciting news, I am officially a part of the Ghost Takeover team um, as of December this past year. So really exciting stuff. I can't wait to see where that takes me this year and what I kind of get to do with them. I'm really excited to see where that's gonna go and what incredible opportunities and people and experiences I'm gonna make from that. I hope you guys enjoy this vlog. It's gonna be kind of a mix of those p this past weekend, um, which is mostly grocery shopping and hunting for egg whites. You're on the hunt for egg whites. It's what, week three? I don't know. It's every time we go to the store, nobody has egg whites. I've been to three grocery stores. But like multiple times this multiple week times. too. We're at Target. We're at Target. Let's see if... Uh, which knowing you, we're probably not just buying egg whites. <laughs> Will Target have egg whites? If not, they'll probably have something we buy. Oh, 100%. We're not going to walk out empty-handed. Oh. You just don't do that at Target. Are you kidding me? No. The best place ever. No cart? Nope. Are you kidding me? Limit. Well, that's no fun. <laughs> Limit your purchasing power. That's no fun. <laughs> Normally, this is me. <laughs> to see if we have egg whites here. Normally, I'm the one that's running around like looking at random shit. But... Because I wanted to get a game, you're judging me? I'm not judging you at all. Whoa. The audacity. Not judging. And the disrespect. Someone's oh. sassy this morning. Moment of truth. Do they have egg whites? Nope. Uh... Nope, those are cage-free egg. Well, that's upsetting. Target has failed us. Well, we didn't leave empty-handed. Of course we didn't leave empty-handed. Can't do that. No egg whites at Target either. We've literally been to Smith's, Target. I went to Albertsons. You went to Albertsons, I went to Vaughn's. No egg whites. None. 
I don't know what's going on, but I'm getting kind of annoyed. So I picked up ham. Because <laughs> I don't know what else to buy right now that's low fat and high protein for breakfast that I'm like craving. So ham it is to make some egg sandwiches. Oh well. He's such a gentleman. Thanks, babe. You're welcome. Sunday morning, we're going grocery shopping, I'm trying to beat the crowd at Costco. We're gonna go to Trader Joe's first. He always opens the door for me. 
haven't been to Trader Joe's in two weeks. I like to go typically every weekend because um, the food there just makes me happy. No egg whites at Target. I haven't found egg whites anywhere yet. So we're hoping that Costco has their egg whites and if not Trader Joe's, but I think the last time I went to Trader Joe's, they also had no eggs either. So the hunt continues. To a man that carries your Trader Joe's bags. <laughs> Probably one of the quickest Trader Joe's runs we've ever done. And by we, I mean me. And now we're going to Costco and we're going to look at couches. Because, you know, we need a couch. We don't need a couch, but our cat has torn up like every armrest on our couch. It's not a need, it's a want. So we probably won't buy one, but. Probably. Just... No, we will. I don't. We're not gonna buy a couch today. <laughs>